Anthony from Hassisnet here, and last year I bought a Dell XPS 8930 and instantly did a little bit of upgrading. And you can actually see the video by the link in the description. So uh, I'm also including a link in the description for the 2021 version of my desktop, which has had some significant upgrades. Um, for example, uh, my XPS, the 2020 version, had an Intel uh, Core i7-9700 processor, 16 gigs of DDR4, 2,666 megahertz of memory, and two 8 gigabit, or gigabyte chips. And then, um, of course, it had one terabyte hard drive from Western Digital. And to be clear, hard drive mechanical, not solid state. And then, of course, it had the killer Wi-Fi 5 uh, 802.11 AC Ethernet Bluetooth card, blah, blah, blah. Because uh, if you go to the Dell website right now to look at the 2021 version, you, you see the processor is a slightly faster processor. The uh, the RAM is slightly faster RAM, et cetera, et cetera. But that link is in the description. You can check it out. So now originally, in the again, in the original video, I upgraded the RAM to from the 16 default to 32 gigs. And uh, that, that actually worked for a while. It uh, served its purpose for about four months. Uh, in I want to say June or July, there was a BIOS update, there was a, like a major NVIDIA update. Uh, there's just a number of updates that happened for hardware in the system that then caused this weird audio and video skipping. And as you know, somebody who records stuff for, for YouTube, uh, you don't want that. Uh, it, it, and it was also, if it wasn't skipping, it was freezing or it was totally muting the sound. And I actually work with XSplit, which is what I use to record videos, uh, trying to troubleshoot it because I thought it was their software. It's not. It was not XSplit. So I loaded up OBS and for the first couple of tests, no issues. So that's why I thought it was XSplit. Uh, third test, issues happen with OBS. So I thought, well, maybe it's the cameras. So I have uh, two of the cameras are Logitech, um, the 1080p, whatever they're called, I forget. And I went to the software and tweaked things or whatever, you know, and used it to test the recording and still the error persisted. So I was like, well, I don't know what's going on. I, I, so I spent months basically just editing around Frozen or, or Skipped or just a whole me bunch of messed up blah. Now, uh, I, in, in 2021, uh, I filed my taxes early, so I uh, got a little refund. So I just said, well, maybe I should take a different approach. I've, I've, I can't figure out if it's software or hardware. And... Um, the graphics card has no complaints. The errors aren't logging anything pertinent. I, I tried to fix through everything through every guide on the internet. Uh, I said, well, well, why don't I do two things? Thing one, change the hard drive. Maybe it's a bottleneck in the hard drive. I don't know why. It all suddenly would appear after four months. But I thought, okay, we'll, we'll do that. And then two, maybe we should go from 16 to 32 to 64 gigs of RAM. Why not max it out? Now, during this period, I had upgraded the RAM originally from, from its default 16 to 32. And that was before the errors occurred. So I'm also not sure if they were at fault, but I, I literally, if you watch the previous video, I upgraded the RAM as soon as I got it because I bought the minimum package from Dell because Dell RAM is expensive. Actually, all Dell parts are expensive. The only way you get them cheap is if you buy them at a computer that is on sale. So whatever. And the funny thing is, and, and I say this as an aside, if you look at the Dell XPS 8930, uh, the 2021 version, on their website, they're still selling the same graphics card I have, which is the 1660 Ti. We get back to, uh, let's say February of 2021, and I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and just do the, the two upgrades that I would like to do. Uh, now, I did not know this at the time, but... I learned through the process that Dell caps the XPS. Uh, they put limiters on it to prevent it to basically being what they would consider probably alien level. Now, I say that because the low-end Alienwares actually use the same mini ATX casing, which is that dual-layered one with the power supply on top. Not a lot of room in there. Uh, probably couldn't fit a 2080 in there if I wanted to, uh, which I don't really need one. It's, it's fine. Uh, but... Um, they capped the, the, the memory at 2666 megahertz. They, they capped the channel number to only being dual, so you can have single channel or dual channel. Uh, so no quad channel. 
uh, and how I learned this is um, in the effort of going to the 64 uh, gigabyte uh, memory, I actually ordered a quad channel kit. Now, um, I ordered from Newegg because that was the only one I could find one that was reasonably priced. Did not get quad channel. What ended up happening is it was jumped down to 2133. And then I started seeing errors. Uh, I, I, got, I got two blue screen errors. And I'm like, well, what the heck's going on? It's the same RAM four times, but the RAM is specially made for quad channel. So I was like, fudge. So I returned it. So what I ended up getting was uh, a set of G-Skill, uh, G, uh, G yeah, G-Skill, and um, I got two sets. Now, you're, you're probably going, wait, but you didn't want quad channel. Right, I got, these are specifically dual channel, and two sets of these. Uh, they're, I believe, are 16, 16, 16, 16, yes, 16 times 4 is 64. So, I uh, got these bad boys. They're not too fancy, there's no LED on it, there's just barely any um, covering on the chips. Uh, so, but for my purposes, it, it fit the need. And uh, the link for these is in the description. Are you an up and coming content creator looking for a user friendly way to both record and broadcast your videos? Look no further than the XSplit Broadcaster. You can set up to four scenes, download plugins to add additional features, and broadcast your content to either. Facebook, Mixer, Twitch, YouTube, or other streaming platforms in 720p resolution for free. With a premium license, you can set up unlimited scenes and broadcast to multiple streaming platforms at the same time in 1080p or better resolution. Click on the sponsor link in the description to get XSplit Broadcaster for free. I throw these bad boys in, and then I was like, okay, so if, if the hard drive is my bottleneck, and then I need to think of another way to do this. So I ended up going to Best Buy, and again, link is in the description, I ended up picking up the Crucial P5 M2 SSD. Uh, this is the one terabyte, because, and the thing is, I'm still using the original Western Digital one terabyte hard drive that came with a computer, but now it's storage. So, uh, Crucial, releases like you have to go on their website but you can um, copy your hard drive to your new m2 uh, through an app they have and i did that well the problem is i screwed up and it was a pretty big screw up but uh in doing so it forced me to buy for 35 dollars at best buy which is not in this script you can just go anywhere and um, pick up a just a, a 240 gigabyte uh, Western Digital SSD, just whatever. Uh, just make sure to remember to pick up a set of SATA 3 cables because they don't come with them. Uh, so after that 35 plus $7 purchase plus tax, about 50 bucks, uh, I go home and so to remind you what I did, I copied my hard drive to my SSD, or the M2, and I accidentally left the hard drive still plugged in, which means the M2 never became priority and my BIOS wouldn't let me access it directly. I'd have to go into BIOS to boot up the M2, annoying as crap, and I didn't want to go through the process ever again. And then I thought to myself, well, what if I do something different? Maybe Windows is my problem. Why don't I just, yeah, I use, I just got the, the 240 gigabyte uh, Western Digital SSD, why don't I just install Windows Fresh from Dell? Basically the version of Windows that was on my computer when Dell shipped it to me, uh, onto this SSD, and just to get the computer running so then I can install on the M2 drive. And it worked perfectly. So now I have, for only $50, because again, we need to get the cable, I have a safety net uh, SSD drive that is holding a pretty much stock updated for as recently as March 2021 uh, for my computer if anything ever happens to either hard drive. So uh, put that aside, I got the M2 finally um, running Windows after of course copying some, something to a key and throwing it into there and booting the, you know, making sure nothing else was connected. I uh, disconnected the hard drive, the SSD I put away. 
uh, because I, I needed to turn the computer on to download the software, which is why I need the SSD. Whole convoluted story, but I got to it. So I put this bad boy back in. I, I pulled the, 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 the thumbstick drive in, uh, boots up. Okay, now here's the funny thing. The SSD took a half hour to install Windows on. This bad boy took five minutes. Like, what? Uh, uh, first off, I, I thought comparable to uh, to standard SSDs and sp uh, speed. Holy crap. So got got the uh, Windows installed, got it updated. It took about an hour to get everything back in. Uh, and then I spent a few days later on installing programs and crap back in. But I, I needed to do tests. And um, I, I didn't do like the, the you, know, you go to Linus Tech Tips and see these speed. No, I didn't do any of that crap. Uh, I just um, started moving things around and seeing just instantaneously the dialogue to move files to it doesn't even open. So anyway, um, shut down real quick, uh, attached my hard drive, moved anything I needed over. Spectacular. So if you if it comes down to it and you you uh, you need to upgrade your XPS 8930 and you bought like the lower and XPS, definitely I recommend the Crucial P5 M2. Uh, again, this is a one terabyte. Um, there's there's more detail in the box about installing crap like that, but uh, all of their software is online, so you don't get any software with it. And again, no SATA three cables. And then of course, uh, the Aegis RAM, uh, again, both of these are in the description. Uh, fantastic. Uh, I don't really need 64 gigs of RAM, uh, but, the, the computer is running smoothly and I'm able to process videos uh, quite a bit faster. Fantastic. And definitely, if you have the 2020 model of the Dell XPS uh, 8930, uh, I would say spend the money to get these just to upgrade your system. Like you legit have to do really nothing else but these two things. And uh, now I go back and mention so Dell did do two things that really annoyed me. First off, they capped my memory. Uh, the memory speed or the RAM speed for those who, who aren't in the know of what memory and RAM are, uh, 2666 megahertz. So that sucks because even the new models are capped about 3000. Uh, but last year's model, no. Uh, the other thing is that you can't overclock. Now, not that I particularly want it to, but they make sure you can't. Because again, these, these two things, at least in the 2020 version of my system, was to prevent it from being more like Alienware. And you, if you look at the 2021 versions of both um, the XPS 8930 and newer Alienware, you'll notice that the Alienware level also went up when the XPS went up because keep up with technology as it were, and also make sure that one doesn't cross over into the other. So, there you go. But again, uh, if you're editing videos, if you're doing music, if you're playing high demanding games, go for these upgrades. Definitely worth it. Everything's in the description. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about the XPS 8930. Do you have the 2020 version? Do you have 2021? Do you have the 2019, 18, whatever? The, cause this, is, this has been a version for a while. I'm not quite sure why this year, New Year's in 8940. But what, I'm not Dell. I don't know. I don't know where they come up with these numbers. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. And then thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledgenet and our website at hasledge.net.